Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Asheshe in Ogun State. So, I'm going to show you some changes that have been made since the last time I came here. By the way, if you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Um, if you like what you see as you watch the video, please give me a thumbs up. So, if you recall, we have two systems, right? System 1 on this side has 6 inverters and the EPS power box. So there are 24 batteries on system, on system 1. Right now we have 6 inverters working, we just added this 6. And the reason why you see things open is because we are, struggling, we are trying to balance these batteries here. If you recall, when we add batteries, um, the system is in, is in balance. The last battery is not at the same state of charge as the first 3. So we are going to balance these. But because of the issue here where they don't want to run the generator, we don't have the opportunity to turn the system off and then remove the battery, discharge the first three and then put them back when they have the same state of charge as the fourth one. So Tajax is telling us that they have some way to do it better and once we find out what that is, we'll be running it. So this inverter, as you can see all the cables are exposed because we are still trying to resolve um, the balancing issue with this. On this inverter, it's having a common a com port issue. Um, so like X is going to take it back to the factory in China and they're going to send us a replacement. They're going to do a post-mortem, take it apart and find out why there's a communication issue. When we plug it in, um, the master, we can set it as master and we have an issue, but we've set it as slaves. All the other slaves will work fine except it. So that's why it's uh, taken apart in the sense of China and then they send us a replacement. Let me see, okay, so this is system two. System two starts here and goes all the way to that inverter that I told you doesn't work. We have our Wi-Fi, our internet. So that's our internet right here. Is it great how we're able to monitor what's going on in this location without us being physically there. So let me show you some changes since the last time we came. As you see, they are trunking. So all these cables that are on the floor are going to go into the trunk. As you, okay, all those cables there are going to go into the trunk. They tied it up underneath here so you can see the cables that are there. And then we have a mass or a mess of cables here. And we're going to figure out how to make this look neater. You see there's a cable tray. We're going to figure out how to make this look neater. So once we figure it out, we will implement. So this box was not here the last time. This box has a 400 amp breaker in it, this one. And this box is what has the supply from the generator or the grid into this room. So it's supplying, um, so let me break it down. This supplies each of the EPS parallel boxes and inside the EPS parallel box is a contactor. So here's one parallel box, sorry, and that's the second parallel box. Sorry if I made you dizzy, that one. So all the power um, comes in from here, goes in there only for the sake of bypass so if the gen or the grid is present it will bypass and then it will run on the grid for gen now the same box supplies this one here and this one here is what goes is what comes from each of our inverters each of our inverters terminates here so here's system one and that's system two and then it supplies charge or grid power to allow us to charge each of our inverters. There are two breakers there. I think there are either there are 250 amp breakers, 250 amps, 250 amps, and then that's 400 amps. So I hope I explained it well. Um, we're, the place we've been running on this, we're, we're averaging 10, 11 hours. Oh, one thing we're supposed to do is connect our automatic gen start function. And that's going to be on master. So this, since this one has fewer batteries for now, it will be on this master. And this one has been pulling continuously 30 kilowatts. So it will be on this one. And when the battery depletes to a certain point, we send a signal to the generator and then start the generator for us. And then once the generator, the battery uh, state of charge gets to a certain point, it stops the gen and continues to run on uh, battery. So that hopefully will get done by, by Tuesday or Wednesday next week 
and that will allow us to automate, automate the generator and we don't have to do any sleep about them calling us every morning to put the turn on and then in the evening calling them to put the turn on. If you like, oh by the way, this is my last video for the month of November, for the month of October in Nigeria. I'm traveling out to the country today. I'm going on a almost three week vacation and I'll be back in November and I, I might do videos of things I see where I am, but this is it for Nigeria. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button once again. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Asheshe. Thank you for watching.